thank you for choosing the Studio Series SL600 USB condenser microphone. This is the perfect microphone for any type of vocal or instrument work and comes with live monitoring, headphone and volume gain directly from the microphone itself. And in this quick start short video guide, we'll show you how to set it up on any Mac or PC. When you purchase the SL600 microphone, you'll receive it in a beautiful premium carry case, which is included with every microphone. Perfect for when you need to take your microphone on the road with you, or if you just want to protect it between takes. Open up the box and you'll see the Studio Series accessories. First up is the high quality shock mount designed specifically for the SL600. A shock mount is a great device which prevents knocks and vibrations getting through to your microphone. It also enables you to connect your microphone easily to any microphone stand. Secondly, you'll get the studio length USB cable. This is a high quality USB cable designed to offer the optimal quality for delivering audio from the microphone to your computer. And last but not least is the beautiful SL600 USB microphone, your new broadcast grade USB condenser microphone. It's beautifully simple and features just one USB port and a host of features. The low cut switch simply takes out the low end frequency from your microphone. This is usually used with instruments but can of course be used with vocals too as it can help reduce rumbles and take out low ends. Think of it as a simple EQ setting. The pad switch reduces the microphone's output by minus 10 decibels, so if you're recording certain instruments or louder sounds, you may want to use this switch. For more information on this and when to use it, please visit our loverecording.com blog. You'll also find two controls on the front face of the SL600. The first is gain control. Gain control allows you to choose the perfect amount of input audio level from the microphone to the computer. Usually, this would be controlled at the computer itself, so having it on the microphone really saves you time. In a similar way, the headphone control alters the volume of the audio you're monitoring. So, if something is too loud or too quiet, you get to have pinpoint precision directly from the microphone. Simply turn to negative to turn down and positive to turn up. There's also a 3.5mm headphone jack, which is compatible with all headphones with this connection. The first thing you'll need to do is to set up your new shock mount. Make sure that all of the elasticated shock bands are joined at their connectors. This prevents any vibrations transferring through to your microphone. If you have a thread adapter inside your shock mount, take out the thread adapter and connect to your microphone stand. This shock mount works with any stand you may own and more on the market with any standardized thread adapter. The microphone should be placed firmly into this area so that it won't fall out. Next, you'll want to connect the USB cable to your microphone. If you're using a tower PC, we recommend using the ports on the back of your PC tower. The blue light should then come on. Next, we'll need to make sure that your microphone is selected as the input device on your computer. First, find your control panel by running a search or finding it from Explorer. Within Control Panel, click Hardware and Sound. On some systems, this may be called Just Sound. Then find the sound icon and click Manage Audio Devices. You'll want to make sure your new SL600 is set up as the default input device and the levels are correct. It may be displayed as SL600 or USB microphone. Once selected, click Properties and make sure levels are set at around 80%. And that's it, you're ready to record. But next, we'll show you how to set up your SL600 with your recording software of choice. For this example, we're using Audacity. You'll need to make sure that your SL600 is also set up as your input device within your software. And if you want to take advantage of the monitoring function, make sure the SL600 is set up as your output device. And that's it, you're ready to go. Happy recording.